Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will show you the 32 new mounts you will be able to get in patch 10.2.7 during the time-limited event, the Pandemonium remix of World of Warcraft. So basically, you will be able to re-experience all the different things you were able to do in Mist of Pandaria. And during this time-limited event that again will happen in patch 10.2.7, you will be able to get a lot of different rewards and recorder versions of items that were previously obtainable in Mist of Pandaria. And this includes 32 mounts. So let's go through all these different mounts. First, we have, as you can see, this Ember Pterodax right here. So this is one of the different dino mounts that you were able to get, especially you were able to get this one from the Glory for the Throne of Thunder raid. And so as you can see, this is a pretty cool mount. Nothing too special about this one. Then we have obviously the best one out of all these different mounts and this is the recorder of Elegon. And so as you can see, this is a really, really nice mount. This is a gold version. And I think this one looks absolutely amazing. Keep in mind, we're not sure exactly how we will be able to get all these different mounts, probably by killing different type of rares, by doing the different raids and also through the new currency. But it's not yet sure how exactly you will be able to get each of these mounts. Then we have the August Phoenix. So this is a recorder of all the different original mounts you were able to get through the Mist of Panera Challenge Mode Dungeon Mode. And so this is a really nice uh, mount. I really like the color on this one. Actually, that might be my favorite one out of the five different Phoenix mounts that are available. And I'm really glad that they're adding this one because I know a lot of people were really sad to not be able to get some of these original Pandaran Phoenix mount and so instead of that you will be able to get this really nice version right here. Then we have the black riding yak. So this is just a normal yak. I don't think people are really exciting about that but this is a nice color for the yak. Then we have the bloody sky screamer. This is another of the dino mounts and as you can see this one is pretty cool as well. Nothing too crazy to mention right here. Then we have the Cobalt Juggernaut. So this one is a recorder of the mount you were able to get from Garrosh Hellscream in Mythic Difficulty. And I really like the blue version. I think the blue version looks actually really, really cool. And so again, you will be able to get this mount during this event. Then we have these different Winsteeds. So these are recorders of an original in-game shop mount. And so I'm really, really glad that they're adding some new colors from the game and not from the shop. So as you can see, we will first be able to get this red version right here. Then we will also be able to get this yellow version right here. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of this model, but I'm still very glad that they're deciding to add some recolors of some of the different in-game shop mounts. After that, we have the favored windsurfer. So this is a recolor of the mount you were able to get when reaching, I believe, 150 mount achievements, something like that. And this is a pretty nice mount overall. Then after that, we have another Juggernaut mount. And this time, this is the Fell Iron one. So this is the green version, which I think, again, looks really nice. And I think this model in general is really cool. We have another one of the Winsteeds. Uh, as you can see this time, this is this uh, kind of purple version or like red version. And I think it looks pretty cool as well. Then we have the Gilded Riding Crane. So this is one of the cranes you were able to get from the Lotus Reputation in Mist of Pandaria. And so we're getting this uh, blue and white uh, version. Then we have the Golden Discus. So this is a disc mount and this is a golden version of this disc mount, which is again pretty cool. Then we have the Guardian Killian. So this one is really nice. I believe this is a recorder of the original collector edition mount that you were able to get from Mr. Panaria. So I think this is really cool that they're adding it as well as a mount in the game. And then we also have the Imperial Killian. So same here. So I believe this one is actually a little bit smaller. So it might be a recorder of the version that you were able to get in BFA in the Veil of Eternal Blossom when there is the Nassault Assault. But this one is definitely the same model as the collector edition, which is really nice as well. Then we have the Jade Pterodax. So again, this is one of the dino mounts. And as you can see, this is a green and red version right here. Then we have this one, the Jungle Riding Crane. Another one of the cranes, nothing too special right here. As you can see, purple and red version. Then we have the Kafayak. So this one is interesting because basically this is the version you can get when you use this mount, uh, this toy right here, the portable Yak Wash. And so now you will be able to get the mount directly 
without having to use the toy. So even though, again, I don't think a lot of people really care so much about these different yaks, it's cool to have the mount as it is. Then we have the little red riding coat. And you're probably wondering why is it so tiny? And it's probably meant to be this tiny. As you can see, it says here the little red goat. And if it stays like that, I think it's really, really cool. Because as you can see, basically, it's a very tiny mount. And I really hope they won't make it slightly bigger. Because if it stays like that, this is something I will definitely use. So this will be the little red riding goat. Then we have another one of the cranes. Uh, again, green and purple this time. Another one of the Killians. And this time, this is a marble one. This one looks really, really cool. Then we have the Modest Expedition Yak. This is another one of the yak mounts, nothing too crazy here, as you can see. I think I would have preferred the recorder version of the one that you can actually use with the different vendors, the Grand Expedition one. But this is still a mount I will be able to use to add to my collection. Then we have the Moku Azul Blazer. This is another disc mount, nothing too crazy here, I would have to say. The Knife Terror Wing, again, pretty nice. This one actually has the best color, I would say, out of all these different recorders. And it looks pretty cool overall. Then we have another one of the Riding Cranes. This one is pretty good as well. It's white and purple, and I actually like really the color on it. But again, it's a Riding Crane, so nothing too crazy. Then we have a Motion Beast, the Pal Eyed Motion Beast. This one, I'm really, really, really excited about it because I do enjoy this model a lot and we didn't have that many. Basically, you were able to get it when killing Galeon, the world boss, also through the Brothers Guild event and when doing some of the PvP activities on the Timeless Isle. So I'm really glad to see that we're able to get this new version right here. Then we have a new version of the different mounts that you were able to get from the Reputation, uh, the Mogushan uh, reputation in Mist of Pandaria. Uh, this one looks pretty okay, I would say. I like the purple on it. Then we have the blue version of the Mushan, the River Walker one. And I think this one looks absolutely amazing. I really love this one and I cannot wait to get it as a mount. Then we have two more of the different cranes. First, this pink and green version and this white and blue version. Again, all these look quite similar, I have to say, so I'm not really interested in them. Then we also have the Sky Surfer, another disc mount, and this time this is a silver one. And then we have the Snowy Riding Goat. This time, as you can see, this is a bigger version and recorder of all the different goats you were able to get during this expansion. I think this one looks pretty okay. And finally, we have the Tropical Riding Crane, another crane that you will be able to add to your collection. So overall, I would say most of them are really just recorders and nothing too special. So just mounts that you can add to your collection pretty easily. But there are a few that are really interesting, especially I would say the Astral Emperor's Serpent is definitely going to be one of my favorite from this event. The August Phoenix as well. And I think again, everyone who missed on the original challenge mode event will be very happy to be able to get this version instead, which again, I think looks one of the best among the five of them. Then, as I mentioned, I'm pretty happy as well with the different uh, Juggernaut mounts. I think these look pretty good. And the little goat as well, because if it stays like that, it's going to be a very funny mount to have. And finally, I'm also really happy with these different motion mounts and especially the river walker one. So let's see, maybe we will learn more in the future and that maybe we will be able to get over type of mounts. But so far, these are all the different mounts that we know we will be able to get during this pandemonium event. Let me know in the comments what you think about all these mounts, if you're happy overall with the event. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great evening. Bye.